Part one. Hi, my name is Amity Dimmick. I'm the mother of Kobe Heisler, who was murdered by the Brooklyn Center Police August 31st, 2019 in Brooklyn Center. He was on the autism spectrum and in his own home. Potter. Part two. Hi, folks. Bear with me. I've never used TikTok before, but apparently a video by ML MPLS Adonia has gone viral talking about what's going on. Please follow. Gotcha, bitch. The name of the police officer who shot and killed Dante Wright was just released. Her name is Kimberly A. Potter. She's 48 years old, and she's been a police officer in the Brooklyn Center Police Department since 1995 when she was 22 years old. She was also the first officer on the scene in a fatal shooting in 2019 of Kobe Heisler, which is just another really fucked up situation. He was a young man with autism, and he was with his grandparents, and they called the police for a mental health check. They then called the police back and said they didn't need him. And when they arrived on the scene, they forced their way into the house. And Kobe allegedly went at the police with a knife and they shot and killed him. She told the police officers on the scene to turn off their body cams, go to separate cars and not talk to anyone. So it's interesting that an officer with such a long-standing career couldn't tell the difference between a taser and a gun. Someone who has been reaching to the right side and the left side of her utility belt since 1995 couldn't tell the fuck. Good morning, everyone. It's Kobe's mom again. Thank you for all the care and concern that I am seeing on my page. I'm just here to let you know that now that I have people following me, I will be on all weekend long telling you about my beautiful, beautiful son, Kobe Heisler, how he was unjustifiably murdered, and also to just show you how sweet and beautiful he was. I will also be um, keeping you updated on the police reform measures that we are um, trying to pass here in Minnesota. Um, Kim Potter was the commanding officer on my son's case and apparently um, when she instructed officers Brand, um, Brandon Akers and Cody Turner to turn off their body cams, that's indicative of a cover-up and that comes from Ben Crump and Sean King. Please stay tuned. I appreciate you all. Hi y'all, Kobe's mom again. I just want to show you how a parent talks to their child after they've been murdered unjustly by a police department, in this case, the Brooklyn Center Police Department. This is how I talk to my child now. This is how I say good morning, good night, happy birthday, I love you. That's my son right there. That's my son and his urn right there. Here is all the plants. They, they bought these plants on the day that he got murdered. I'd like to introduce you to Kobe's stepdad, John Garcia. He's got something to say. Fuck you, Kimberly Potter.